Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the number one productivity hack for 2020. All right, so let's talk about productivity. Now, in 2019, I read some books and the best book that I read was Cal Newport's Deep Work. If I recommend one book for you to read, I highly recommend that you read this. Now, I'm going to give you a brief summary of this book, but I'm gonna talk about the number one productivity hack that you should do in 2020. And I know that I'm going to do this as well. So if I were to sum up deep work, I would say that the best thing that you can do for your career and for your happiness overall is to concentrate and get off social media. I've saved you reading the book, but I do highly recommend that you read the book because it is a really good book. The reason why concentration is something that's really important is because it is very hard to concentrate today. There are so many distractions and what Cal Newport suggests is that you get off social media. And that is your number one productivity hack for 2020. All right, thanks for listening. No, I'm just kidding, let's continue. Now this goes beyond just kind of concentrating or distractions, but it goes about how you use your time. Now, really successful people use their time very effectively. They probably don't waste any of their time, and if they do, it is a planned wasting of time. Now, most of us are in the situation where we can probably focus a bit more and work a bit harder. Very few of the people watching this are going to be the kinds of people that need more rest. Now, personally, I like to work really, really hard and then take some time off. In fact, over the Christmas holidays, I delete my email app because luckily my business doesn't require that much support over the Christmas break. So when it comes to time management, the best thing you can do is to pull up a spreadsheet and calculate what you're doing with your time each day. This is the best way to manage your time. And one of the things you'll notice when you do this is that you'll probably spend way more time than you think on social media. This is Twitter, Facebook, or even Reddit. So if you pull up a spreadsheet and you figure out what you're doing with your time, you'll be able to visualize this. Now there's a lot of research done on a very similar principle and that is spending. If you go and put every single one of your purchases into a spreadsheet, you will look at how much you're spending on each item and you'll also make better decisions. There's been a lot of research to prove this. Now, some people are better spenders than others, but over the years, I've found out that if you do this, you'll actually start to second guess on big purchases or purchases that you don't necessarily need. Remember, it's way easier to spend money than it is to make money. And you can apply that concept to your time. It's easier to waste your time than it is to do something productive because doing something productive is inherently more difficult than wasting your time. One of the things that Cal Newport says in his book is that you should spend your time on actions that will give you more value. And social media is inherently valueless. So it makes sense to not spend time on social media. Now I've personally in 2019 have not used Facebook as much and I would say that not only am I happier, but I am also more productive. It's always good to look at yourself and find out where you can improve. And the more action you take to your self-improvement, the better off you will be. The other thing I've noticed is that you can use your YouTube time more effectively. Hint, hint, subscribe down below. So it's possible to be on a platform and have good spending habits and bad spending habits. I use YouTube for an education resource. I watch a lot of news, specifically economic news, and I watch a lot of tutorials. Also, I like history, so I like watch a lot of history channels. But over the years, I've watched more and more of this kind of content and less and less of kind of the content that is a complete waste of time. You have to figure out which videos will give you more value. The other thing I like to do with my video time is I do buy courses and that's why I make a company that actually produces these courses. The reason is, is that Mammoth Interactive produces courses that get you from A to B as quickly as possible. And I like to other tutorials that do this as well. I want to spend my time in the most efficient way possible and I want to make sure that I learn the most amount of information in the least amount of time. And here at Mammoth Interactive, we try and do that as well. We try to make sure that people know nothing about coding to be able to release an app on the App Store. Now, there's lots of other tutorials out there that do this as well, and I always love watching new videos. It's not always on coding, but I'm always trying to learn something new. The other thing about buying a course is that there's usually no ads in it, and you can watch it two times as fast, which means that the efficiency is incredible. 
incredibly better than just going to a lecture at a university and hearing a person speak in real time. Another thing I like to do with my time is I like to exercise. Now, it's hard with two kids to get the right amount of exercising in, but I try to make it a priority to get some kind of exercising in. Now, over the years, my exercise routine has changed quite a bit. When I was in university, I would work out maybe four or five times a week. Now I play ultimate frisbee for about six hours a week. And during the off season, I like to ski. These are things that are really important that you need to figure out for yourself. You need to figure out which physical activities are good for you and you want to make sure that you do it. The thing that you also want to make sure when it comes to physical activity is to not overdo it. I personally get injured quite a bit because sometimes I push myself too hard and being injured isn't very good. So if you're a marathon runner, you need to budget your body's ability to handle that kind of stress. It is very, very easy as you get older to get injured. You can't do the same amount of physical activity when you're 35 that you did when you're 25. This is something that is really annoying and I hope they fix that sometime in my lifetime. The other thing I like to do is go for really long bike rides because it clears the mind and if I work really, really hard and you have that rest, that rest will actually help you solve problems because you can't be working 100% of the time. So just because you're not working doesn't mean you're not being productive. Exercising is one of the best ways to spend your free time. And if you play a social sport like ultimate frisbee, baseball, soccer, or football, if you're from Europe, these sports will absolutely help you socialize. And if you're a coder like me that's been spending all of his time in front of a computer screen, this is going to be great for you. So let's recap this video. If you haven't read Cal Newport's Deep Work, I highly recommend that you read it. To sum up that book, the best way to spend your time is to do things that are valuable. Social media is not valuable, so don't spend your time doing it. The other thing that you want to do is you want to graph your time usage per day and see if you can be more efficient. By graphing out your time use every day, you'll be able to make better decisions. The other thing that you want to do is you don't want to be working all the time and you need to use your free time effectively, and one of the best ways to do that is exercise. Lastly, if you're gonna watch a video, make sure it's educational because that way you'll be able to use it in your career in some way, shape, or form. All right, so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and if you have any comments about this video, please comment below. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon or a sponsorship, so we need you to buy the digital products down below. Every dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. We have multiple levels down below, but if you really want to help with this channel, the best way to help out is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We add in 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, and you can learn everything from Photoshop to machine learning. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in another video.